Gary, thanks for joining us here today on The Watchman. My pleasure. Iran is about to get a financial windfall, uh, billions of dollars in sanctions relief. Uh, you were someone who fought this Iran deal tooth and nail. What are your thoughts right now? Why is this such a bad thing, Gary? Quite frankly, there's very little on the agenda here in Washington that's as, as important as how to deal with Iran and as important as the implications of this deal, not only for Israel, but just as importantly, perhaps more importantly, for the United States. I think that deal was the worst diplomatic defeat for the United States, certainly in modern American history, perhaps ever. And what it's done is not bring the possibility of peace close, closer. It hasn't, in my view, stopped or delayed Iran from getting a nuclear weapon. What it's done is empowered the Iranian government to increase their aggression, to increase their mischief, to threaten their neighbors, and ultimately to pose an even greater threat to us. You know, Gary, it's so great to get your insights in particular on this issue. You, you have fought a lot of battles here on Capitol Hill in Washington, D.C., on these kinds of issues, working for President Reagan, obviously. So over the years, you've seen Iran's behavior up close for a lot of years. Do you have any confidence at all that they will change their behavior and become a, a moderate actor that the world seems to be dreaming about? No, I, I don't have any doubts. This is a revolutionary regime. It is, an, it is the Islamic Republic of Iran. Their whole reason for being is a reason that is rooted in their understanding of their Shia faith. And they believe they have a religious duty. I, I don't think we could give them uh, uh, more aid. We could look the other way at more provocations. All we will do is convince them that their holy teachings are correct, that they are uh, the forerunners of a new day in, in the world where Judeo-Christian civilization will be destroyed, where the Christians and Jews will all be killed. And unless we understand that's their guidebook, that's their owner's manual, uh, then we're never going to get this right. Gary, you mentioned Christians and Jews are a target of this radical regime. We know that Hezbollah, Iran's proxy, thousands and thousands of missiles pointed at every inch of Israel. But Israel, in the Iranian view, in the view of their leadership, is the little Satan. America is the great Satan. That's what they say. The good news, if there's any good news in this, is that we have Kufi. We have Christians United for Israel, Gary. Uh, you're leading the Kufi Action Fund here in Washington, D.C., where it counts. Talk about what Kufi has done to sound the alarm about this Iran threat. Well, uh, Eric, thanks for bringing up Kufi Action Fund, because in the despairing weeks when we were debating this Iranian deal, the only thing that got me out of bed in the morning was what we were experiencing at the same time as we began to launch Kufi Action Fund, which is our government relations sort of lobbying arm here in Washington for Kufi to give voice to those nearly three million people that Pastor Hagee has managed to collect in the last decade. And what I saw was um, a, a grassroots that really is able to understand somewhat complex issues. I mean, this is a, a treaty that the media didn't really do very much to help us understand, but we found when we sent out the alerts, told people they had to show up at town hall meetings, and talk to the senators and congressmen back in their home districts and home states about this issue that hundreds, sometimes thousands of people would show up. Uh, so I, I think that as the inevitable battles uh, in the public policy arena related to Iran, radical Islam, defending Israel, as those battles pick up, we're literally going to have an army that at a moment's no notice can run to the front lines. Well, Gary, thank God we have you here in Washington, D.C. amid all the chaos in this city at times. It's great we have a man like you here and we have the Kufi Action Fund. Thank you so much. Great to be with you, Eric.